Real-life Hank Scorpio, Elon Musk says we'll have a million people living on Mars by the 2060s. If he can steal enough underpants, of course. But what will life be like when humans go about their daily business on Mars? We know it'll be cold, probably a little dusty. But did you know you'll get a fat neck, permanent beer goggles, and you'll need to work out every day? Doesn't sound so fancy now, does it? Let's find out why in our list of the 10 realities of life on Mars. Number 10. We'll be mole people. Since Mars has neither an atmosphere nor a global magnetic field, those living on the surface will need something to protect them from space radiation caused by solar activity and galactic cosmic rays. Right now, NASA is working on force fields and radiation-blocking materials to this end. But a solution posed by some scientists is that we may instead live underground. Five meters of soil provides the same level of protection as Earth's atmosphere. So it's likely we'll use existing cave systems as the base for our first Martian habitats. Hooray, we're back to being cavemen. Unfortunately, the levels of radiation present, combined with our current technological limitations, means it'll be some time before any Martian colony will have windows. And that leaves us with the terrifying possibility that we'll have to find somewhere else to leave our pies to cool. Number 9 you'll print your food two years ago nasa invested several hundred thousand dollars into a project to design 3d food printers which function in space and offered up an edible pizza as proof that it works this kind of technology will prove crucial in the early years of martian colonization as with supply ships initially scheduled once a year at most these cargo drops will only contain the basic elements needed to keep the colonists alive. Growing food Matt Damon style was once thought too difficult due to the presence of toxic elements in Martian soil, but in June 2016, scientists did manage to grow edible non-toxic tomatoes, peas, and cereals in simulated Martian dirt. However, vegetables take both time and water to grow. And since we're still not sure if this experiment could be replicated with genuine Martian soil, it's going to be printed beef and Spaceman ice cream for a good while yet. Number 8. No Skyping If one of your relatives is living on Mars, you'll have yet another excuse not to call them at Christmas. Because communications between the two planets are delayed by between 4 and 24 minutes, depending on where Mars is in its orbit. This could mean something of a renaissance for the ancient technique known as the email, because every live conversation will be like one of those news broadcasts from a foreign country where the anchor keeps interrupting the reporter, as nobody knows when it's their turn to speak. And if you're wondering why we can't just stick a big butt Wi-Fi hotspot in the middle of space, then I like your thinking, pal. But well, that just won't work. Because no matter how much technology progresses, you can't make radio waves move any faster. Even if you give them a rolling start by pushing them down Olympus Mons. <laughs> Who needs a phone call home when you've got an amazing view of a glorious butterscotch sky? Number 7. Blue Sunsets Just before the sun rises on a crisp Martian morning, you'll enjoy blue skies similar to what we experience on Earth. But as the sun drags its butt out of bed, the hue of the heavens will switch to a pinkish red much like the color of a lightly slapped buttock. Throughout most of the Martian day, the skies then turn to a yellowish-brown butterscotch color before returning to a brief period of cobalt blue and then back to spanked hiney pink as the sun hits the hay. Occasionally, you'll see violet skies too. And since the only clouds are thin, wispy ones, you'll also enjoy a picturesque view of the cosmos and both Martian moons which often pop out at the same time like a couple of cold nipples in a snowstorm. Number 6. New Calendars A Martian day lasts 40 minutes longer than an Earth day, but due to its distance from the Sun, it takes Mars almost twice as long to orbit the Sun, and a Martian year subsequently lasts 686 days. 
Therefore, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll enjoy seven months of spring, a six-month summer, five months of fall, and four months of winter. And due to Mars' elliptical orbit, those in the Southern Hemisphere will experience far harsher summers and winters too. So does this mean we need to invent a summer Martian Christmas to fill the gap? Because I can't go 686 days without presents, turkey, and passive-aggressive arguments with my relatives. Number 5. It might be one way. According to Mars One's Boz Lansdorp, the technology required to get humans to Mars and keep them alive there definitely exists, but the technology to get them home does not. Nevertheless, thousands of gullible morons have applied for his reality show suicide mission, and of the 100 candidates remaining, only four of them will get to make this proposed one-way trip to Mars, which he's definitely not made up for a TV prank. But good guy, Elon Musk, says a return trip might be possible using synthesized Martian methane as a propellant. Now, I always knew there were great possibilities to be found in Mars farts. However, these trips have to be scheduled for when the orbits of Earth and Mars bring them closest together. So if you get homesick as soon as you arrive there, tough luck. You'll be stuck there for at least 27 months and maybe more if Galactic Emperor Musk decides to keep you his space prisoner. Number 4. Daily Exercise Astronauts on the International Space Station must exercise for two hours a day to mitigate the effects of zero gravity on their muscles, and while Mars isn't totally devoid of magic pulley downy power, it does only possess a third of Earth's gravity, so you'll still need to work up a sweat on a daily basis to stop yourself turning into a pathetic weakling. And no, Leaping over large distances in one-third gravity does not count as a full-body workout. But hey, at least your bathroom scales will tell you you're only a third as fat as you thought you were. Number 3. You're boned I like my bones just the way they are, but Martian colonists are going to have to put up with a few more breakages than normal thanks to the effects of low gravity. Even with regular exercise, your bones will grow weaker while living on the red planet. And if there's one thing sure to ruin your trip to a new world, it's a shattered pelvis from trying to make too many new Martians too soon. Now, well, at least you won't have to be too picky about who you sleep with on Mars because… Number 2. Permanent Beer Goggles When astronaut John Phillips traveled to the ISS, he had perfect 20-20 vision. And when he returned, this degraded to 20-100 vision which is only one step away from being legally blind. NASA still doesn't know exactly why this happens, but since there are notoriously few opticians on Mars, it may be a good idea to pack some contact lenses for the trip just in case. Because I don't think Martians are that big on Braille, but what they are big on is big, fat, chunky necks. And number one, goiter. I hope you packed enough scarves and neckerchiefs for everyone, Elon Musk, because thanks to the presence of toxins in the Martian soil, there's a risk everyone could end up looking like this. Now, we're not talking about those made-up toxins your aunt thinks she can cleanse herself of by eating nothing but prune juice and taking a large dump. No, we're talking about high concentrations of perchlorates, which are toxic salts that can cause huge amounts of damage to the human thyroid glands. Even if we can rid Martian crops of these salts, just touching the soil on a regular basis is a bad idea, as too much exposure could cause hyperthyroidism, which leads to goiter, skin rashes, nausea, and vomiting. So basically, what we're saying is, don't eat a handful of soil the minute you get there. Just stick to that powdered Spaceman ice cream, and you'll be fine. And that's our list. Are you still hungry for a trip to Mars? Or would you rather just head to Amazon and buy some Spaceman ice cream? I've tried it. Tastes like ass. Just trust me on this. Instead, why don't you just check out our recent video on the weirdest plans for the future? Because if you think a trip to Mars is interesting, just wait until you see what else we've got in store for you.